uh, good evening, welcome back to the 120th. Um, I have decided to come out and try doing some night shots on the large format. I'm keen to try a bit of night photography um, because if I can make it work then it's something that I can potentially do because I can get the kids in bed, get the wife settled in front of the telly and um, then I've got the evening to myself. We come up at 10pm on a very cold uh, and very windy uh, night. Uh, I've come back to a place that you will all have seen before, which is one of my favourite places to shoot, which is St. Aralus Church. There it is. But what I thought I might try and do is um, just some kind of eerie black and white shots of some gravestones. There's some quite nice kind of backlit ones over there. Um, fortunately the whole church is lit up, which is very good of them. Uh, I have a large format camera, I have the 90mm lens, um, I have my light meter, uh, I have four sheets of FP4 loaded, uh, and I've got my um, reciprocity failure table for the FP4, um, which will tell me exactly how much I need to compensate um, for the film. I'll explain a bit more about that later. So let's go and get the uh, let's go and get the large format camera out and let's set up for something here. I don't know if I'm going to go straight in for the church. I think maybe maybe something like this. This bit here. This is nice. Um, creepy. So go and get the camera out. I'm going to show you this reciprocity failure table as light becomes more scarce. So. Uh, a film, any film stock, becomes less and less able to um, expose according to kind of original parameters. I think the scientific explanation is that because there are so few photons coming from the light source, they are unable to uniformly strike the silver halide grains in your emulsion. Uh, anyway, long story short, it takes exponentially longer to expose. As you can see from this, you can see here, zero seconds and then it goes basically through the roof. So basically an eight second uh, measured exposure will need to be held for something like 30 seconds. But we'll, we'll do that as we go along. Right then, I've plunked the camera down here uh, as the first shot. Um, essentially looking at this kind of area here with a bit of the trees in it as well. 10 seconds at 5.6. It's not too bad at all for a night shot. Uh, let's go with that. 10 seconds at 5.6. So we're looking at, what did I say, 10 seconds, 18. So 18 second exposure. See if I can get that to stand on there happily. All right, any good picture? Okay, we'll do two here. Um, I'm gonna do one at five, six for 15 seconds, which, will, which is gonna be a, a pretty short depth of field. So who knows, I can't really see what's gonna be in and out of focus here. Um, and then I'll do another one. Uh, longer with a smaller aperture. See which one works best. I've only got four frames to play with tonight. That'll be good. Let's try that. First things first, close that. Then we're gonna push that to five, six. Good. Arm the shutter. Go on five, three, two. Right then, that's one frame done. Uh, now I'm going to meet her again. This time, let's look for an aperture of, let's say, maybe 32 or something similar. So it's 50 seconds, 5-0. I mean, this could be like a 10 minute exposure. I don't even know if I'm going to bother with this. Oh, my scale doesn't even go up to that. 
My scale only goes up to um, goes up to my scale goes up to 35 seconds. At 35 seconds, you've got a three-minute exposure. So a 50-second exposure is going to be about 20 minutes. So I'm going to sack that off. Let's not bother. Right, let's, let's shoot something different. I think we'll just literally turn straight around and shoot up at the church. Somewhere here. Let's find it. Right. Let's get this wide open again. And let's meet at this one now. 20 seconds at 4 5. Oh, Jesus. Dropping into a hole. I think it might be someone's grave. Right, 20 seconds is there. 20 seconds is 45. So, that's what we'll do. And then I think that might be enough of this freezing, freaking cold night. So, we're at 4 5. We are closed. Shutter is cocked. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. That's an eerie 45 seconds. Standing in silence at night in a graveyard. Here we go, 43, 44, 45, stop. Let's take him back, develop the sheets, and see how we got on. Just walking to the car, and uh, I've seen this, which I quite like actually. It's uh, it's pretty plain, pretty simple. Uh, it's just a street light. What I really like about it is the angles. There's another signpost kind of leaning towards it. Um, and the road. If I can get some tones out of the road, I'll be happy. So I'm going to shoot it while I'm here. It's still on bulb. Let's close that down. Got the shutter. 4.5. Good. Three, two, one, go. Eight. Stop. There's that. Dark slide back in. Fold up the tripod and let's get cracking. Right then, I've um, just seen something on the way back. It's a pretty awesome kebab van. I actually did two there. Um, uh, I did a, a, a sheet of portrait as well because the colours look so pretty. So it'll be interesting to see how that comes out. Right, back home, see what we got, see how they worked. So there we go. That was a, an interesting experiment. Um, I think the results could have been a bit better. Uh, what's been really interesting is the um, is that reciprocity failure table uh, and my metering perhaps. Um, which I'm not sure is quite right. So we've got the um, the, the one of the church, um, which I quite like in negative actually. I think it looks pretty cool. So first of all, this on the negative, and you can see it on the picture in the in the bottom right. Um, that is the shadow of my camera. I don't know. This, uh, I, I quite like that shot of the church. I quite like the movement, the motion blur in it, um, the, the long exposure movement blurs. Um, and then we, but the, the first one, the first one I shot, a bit, not particularly excited about that. Subject matter, not the best there. I do like the church. I think the church has come out nicely. Um, I quite like that one as well. Uh, the, the, the lamp post, there's something to that. Uh, and then we've got the kebab van, which I quite like in black and white. It's quite nice, isn't it? I think that one, I think the, the, the portrait orientation kebab van is, is, is my favourite there. Um, I think Portra 160 is perhaps not the best choice for night shooting um, because it is uh, famously uh, kind of low saturation. It's a low saturation film. Uh, and I think you could do with some more colour there. I think it could, it could it would benefit from a bit more colour. So anyway... The big thing for me, I would quite like to get into night shoots um, because it's something I can do. Um, my major issue is time and finding time to do all this stuff. Um, I've got two young kids uh, and I've got a full-time job that isn't this. Um, and so finding time to go out and shoot film is tricky. Um, but evenings are a possibility. Uh, if I can get out at night and go and shoot some stuff. So I'm quite keen to get into night shooting and, and find some inspiration um, that might uh, keep me ticking over for a bit. 
uh, with night shooting. It will take a bit of trial and error to get this reciprocity failure thing right and get the exposure times right. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the results in the first one. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Come along with me on the next one. I have just put this negative down on the desk in front of me. And it's created an interesting effect, which I'm going to show you. I'll get the light right on it here so that we stand a chance of seeing it on the film. But I've just put this negative down on my wooden desk. The texture, I really like the texture that the desk has put in the sky. If I was to take a large format photo of the desk, underexpose it so you get a pretty thin negative, put the two negatives together, Here's the weird thing, and I don't know what to do with this. With that main one of the church, this one here, I kind of prefer the negatives. I prefer it in negative than I do in positive. I'm going to brew on that for a little bit. I wonder where that will go in my head. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I, I feel some experimentation coming on. I quite like the idea of working with night photography ending up with completely unexposed sections of the uh, of the negative because uh, there's just no light there. So in the sky above the, um, the church, for example, and somehow adding some texture to it. Hmm. More on that another time, I think. I'm going to brew on that for a little bit and think about it. Anyway, that's it. That's your lot for today. Bye.